Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I wanted to share with you all how you can easily build muscle with calisthenics whilst keeping a very low body fat percentage on a vegan diet. Because there's so many people out there believe that you cannot build muscle on a vegan diet, which is a complete myth that so many people like myself have completely debunked by showing like, look, what I can achieve with my body. And yet, a lot of you may look at this video and say, well, your muscles are really, really not big, but the type of body that you get with calisthenics training, unless you're doing a lot of weighted calisthenics and adding in some compound exercises and some other type of bodybuilding exercises, that you will have a body that looks like this with a very low body fat percentage, but you'll have well-defined muscles and you will have really amazing strength. Like I can do muscle ups and all these other different types of hard calisthenics exercises. So I may not look very strong, I may not have very big muscles, but I am very strong and I feel absolutely amazing as well. So the way I've achieved my body and kept a low body fat percentage while having amazing strength at the same time, the first thing is, is making sure that I'm eating enough calories every single day. A lot of people think you need excessive amounts of protein, but that's a complete myth. I'll talk about that in a very short while alongside what I'm talking about now. But yeah, you wanna be eating, as I would call it, like a gorilla or a warrior. So when I eat, I eat as much food as I want. I do not restrict calories whatsoever. And the more muscle mass you have, the more calories your body needs because muscle mass uses up the most calories. So you really need to be eating as much as possible to build your muscles and actually help them recover as well. So yeah, no calorie count in here, no calorie restricting whatsoever. And for me, I personally eat a high carbohydrate diet with a moderate amount of fat and a moderate amount of protein. So a lot of time I'm doing a lot of carb loading and I just make sure that I eat a lot of high calorie foods. So I eat a lot of fruit, so a lot of bananas, and durian fruit and all these other high calorie fruits as well. And then with my cooked food meal, it's normally loads of rice and potatoes with vegetables. And I've actually got a video that shows what I eat in a day, which I'll put a link for here in case you want to check that out. So that's absolute key. The second one is doing daily intermittent fasting. A lot of people are aware of the method known as 16-8 intermittent fasting method, which is fasting for around 16 hours every single day and eating for around an eight hour window and I actually talk about that more in a video that I will put up here but yeah you can do that as a minimum 16 hours of fasting an 8 hour window but for me I do around 20 hours of fasting around 4 to 5 hours of eating and the reason why it works so well for reducing my body fat percentage whilst increasing my muscle mass is it's been shown through scientific research to increase testosterone levels in men by about 200 to 400% in women around 130% and human growth hormone levels increase in females by about 1,300% and 2,000% in men. And as many of us know, in the bodybuilding movement, there's many people that take synthetic human growth hormone and different forms of steroids to build muscle mass and strip off body fat and also water retention as well. So it's the best natural alternative that is completely free. It doesn't cost you anything. And all you're doing is shortening your eating window and cramming the amount of calories that you would normally eat throughout a whole day into that period of time. And what is actually happening, while you're in the fasted state, it takes around six to eight hours to deplete all the glucose in your blood and then glycogen, which is stored glucose that is mostly within the liver. And once it's burnt through all of those, your body starts burning your body fat as fuel. So this is really, why it's good for reducing your body fat percentage without calorie restricting. This is why I call it one of the ultimate weight loss hacks out there that, as I've mentioned, is completely free. And the longer you fast for, the greater the human growth hormone benefits and testosterone benefits are as well. And it also improves insulin sensitivity, which is a fat storage hormone. And most people that are eating so much food throughout the day, the insulin levels are up and down all day long. So they're never getting rid of the glucose and the glycogen so they're not tapping into burning their fat as fuel and yeah the insulin is also causing their body to store more fat so this is absolutely amazing 
for losing weight and increasing your strength and your muscle mass at the same time. And I eat so many calories. There's a lot of time that I eat two to 3,000 calories just my cooked food meal at the end of the day and around 1,000 to 1,500 calories in the middle of the day. So as you can see, it is an abundance of calories. And I do recommend, if you're eating a vegan diet, trying to eat as much plant-based foods in their whole natural form rather than a lot of like refined processed junk vegan food out there because yeah it's just not going to make you feel as good and it will cause you to have more water retention and more fat mass as well so that's something to be aware of and the third one is making sure that you're doing correct consistent training on a regular basis because i see a lot of people in there in the gym and they're just lifting weights like this and they're not hardly even breathing, it's really easy, they do this and then they just sit there for a while like this, they're not sweating, not, not panting at all, don't look like they've had any strain put on their body or their stress, or stress on their body at all should I say, and yeah, and then they keep going again. So for me, I do specific hypotrophy training, which basically involves me doing hard exercises that really challenge me for a rep range of anywhere from 6 to 12 reps and this has been shown through scientific research to be one of the best types of way to train to increase muscle mass but if you want to increase endurance you would do around 13 or more reps anywhere from around 13 to 20 reps but if you want to be a power lifter and lift really heavy stuff below reps then you would be doing anywhere from about 1 to 5 reps and i give you a quick idea of what i would do so in my ab training what i would normally do is six different exercises and it would be four rounds of each exercise with 15 seconds rest in between each one so it's very very intense but this is for someone like myself it needs to be very advanced and very like hard so i don't necessarily recommend this to you especially if you're new to calisthenics you want to rest around 60 seconds but yeah by me decreasing the rest time it really fatigues the muscle even more and actually yeah makes it grow even more when it, i start to recover the muscles and allow it to grow naturally on their own and i do actually have an ab workout video that i'll put a link for here that you can check out here and if you want me to make any other types of calisthenics workout videos let me know down below and I'll make them as soon as possible I can make like ones for new people intermediate people and advanced people as well and you want to be training anywhere from three to five days a week and for me I normally only train around three to four times a week at the moment and no longer than about 45 minutes per session so yeah as you can see there's no excuses to not do this type of training if you're doing it correctly but a lot of people aren't doing the correct training they train a lot longer and a lot more frequently but I do what is known as smart training so it's training in a very smart way to get the greatest benefits in the shortest period of time. So then I can focus on other things in my life because I have a very busy life and run multiple businesses so I don't need to be spending loads and loads of time in the gym endlessly. And I will actually add a fourth thing. Make sure that you're going to bed as early as possible. No later than 10pm but ideally anywhere from 8 to 10pm. Because the earlier you go to bed the better your body is going to recover and by also getting enough sleep as well because when you're asleep your body releases an abundance of human growth hormone which is key for your muscles to grow and to recover and just for your energy levels to just be fully restored so you can go out there and train even harder and have an abundance of energy throughout your day and you do want to be trying to avoid eating any food within about three hours before your bedtime because if you're not doing this what's going to happen you're going to go to bed with elevated insulin levels and then it's actually going to stop your body a lot of time while you're asleep producing adequate amounts and optimal amounts of human growth hormones. So this is something to be very aware of. So the earlier you eat, the better benefits you're going to get for increasing your human growth hormone levels and actually improving your insulin sensitivity as well. And one last thing that I forgot to mention in relation to diet, which a lot of people ask, is how much protein do you need to be eating? There's so much conflicting scientific research out there, but I read some a few months ago that actually showed that you only need around 0.5 grams per pound of body weight to keep that nitrogen balance. Then when they tested it with higher amounts, it made no difference whatsoever for improving nitrogen balance and improving their muscles growing and their recovery as 
well. So anyone out there that says you need excessive amounts of protein is a complete, yeah, is saying complete misinformation, should I say. And yeah, when you start eating excessive amounts of protein, you just excrete most of it and it has an acidifying effect in your body and it has a whole host of negative effects on your health mentally and physically, holistically. And long term, it's gonna shorten your life expectancy and yeah it's just something you don't want to be doing at all and if you'd like to know how much i eat i only eat around 50 grams of protein a day which through that scientific research is more than adequate amounts of protein to keep the nitrogen balance in the most optimal way possible for me to grow my muscles so yeah don't go out there and eat excessive amounts of protein there's a lot of people like myself that are completely debunking the protein myth and most of these studies and research done out there and all these companies telling that you need loads they're just companies that are trying to make money from you so they have certain protein supplements that they want to sell to you and make loads of money from you so getting you to believe you need loads maximizes their profits so that's just something to think about so that's it for this video if you have any questions on anything that i've talked about in this video leave them down below and i get back to you as soon as possible i love answering your questions if you like the video like it down below give us a thumbs up and please share this video to anyone that you think would like to learn about how they can build muscle mass on a vegan diet while keeping a low body fat percentage and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis talking about a vegan diet and how you can get it to work the best for you to maximize your muscle mass and just to get you to feel the best that you can feel and to also improve your sports performance and many videos on intermittent fasting to get it to work in the best way for you and also many calisthenics workout videos as well so if these type of videos sound good to you make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button otherwise you will not be notified of new videos that I have coming on a regular basis. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.